Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading from my dearest, dearest Virgos. Virgos, I just want to thank you so much for all the love and support that you show my channel. You continuously show up for me in such a big way and it means the world to me and I love my Virgos out there. Um, so we're going to be doing a, a, an energy check-in love reading for you. And um, this is going to be regarding the person most on your mind or your current situation. And we're going to get as much information as possible. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Virgos, please. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Virgos, please. All right, so we've got the Eight of Swords. Somebody feels like their hands are tied. Temperance energy, Sagittarius. They're viewing you as the two of swords. Ooh, you have somebody who's coming towards you. Cancerian energy. I think this is something that's going to make you really happy. I feel like my Virgos, you're going to be all in. All right. And we have the two of wands. Somebody's making a decision. And I feel like they're, they're making a decision to close the gap to cut off the distance that's between the two of you, to come close to you. Now, it could be that you've been really in your head about this connection. Maybe this person has. Maybe they felt like their hands were tied. But I feel with temperance energy, they're, they're like cutting themselves loose. They're in a place where they're ready to travel. They're ready to meet you halfway. And it does not have to be physical distance. Although for some of you, maybe there's you're in a, you're, you are in a different city, state, or country. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so excited. I'm going to calm down for a second. <laughs> and for others of you, there's just emotional distance. So let's take a look and see why do we have the Eight of Swords showing up? Why do we have the Eight of Swords showing up? All right, we've got the Knight of Wands. Okay. And we've got the eight of pentacles. Okay, uh, so we have double eights coming out. Really important number sequence for my Virgos. This is about ascension. It's about abundance. Pay attention to seeing eight, eight, or even triple eights or quadruple eights. That's your sign, Virgo, that you're on the right path. But I feel somebody here has been in and out or somebody here has been lacking confidence, we'll say, maybe because of distance. Um, for some of you, maybe because you work together or, you know, like the Eight of Pentacles could be that this is somebody that you see in a place where you go back to. And I know you're probably sick of hearing me say it, but the dog park, the gym, your favorite bar club or restaurant, work, school, you know, yoga class, whatever it might be, it, you, may be you may see this person somewhere in your community or a place you go back to. Um, and there's been, there's been hesitation. There's been a lack of confidence. For others of you, there's been a lack of confidence about whether or not we can make this work or I want to put time and effort into this connection because there are some obstacles. There's some sort of distance between us. For others of you, Queen of Pentacles, you know what I heard? For some of you, this person is saving up to come towards you, to visit you, or to like make some sort of major move. And I see that with the temperance energy because I feel like they've either brought their finances into balance. Maybe they were healing from something as well because the queen of pentacles in reverse certainly can be someone with health issues. So maybe they've healed something, but regardless of their situation, Virgo, they're in the place you want them to be. And that's why they're coming towards you. I love this. They could be Sagittarius. They could be Cancer. Um, but really, this is more of an energy read than a signs read. Uh, temperance, whenever it shows up in a reading, Virgo, it's always an indication that there's divine assistance here helping you two, bringing you two together. And yeah, I, I love this. Some of you, your person could be like a healer, an energy healer, you know, an empath, an intuitive, um, or they work in the healing arts or in medicine. All right. Ten of wands. This person, this person might be moving towards you. They, they may have a lot of responsibilities and some of you, maybe they're waiting for a contract to end or, you know, there's, it feels like a move though with that 10 of wands and the sun card in reverse. A lot of you, you might not see this coming. Some of my Virgos, you might be giving up hope or faith that things are going to work out or this person's actually going to make it to where you are, or this person's actually going to, you know, make this move or be able to, 
you know, it, it maybe it's a long time coming for some of you, but the sun card is still the happiest card in the deck. Yeah, I feel there's been disappointments or there have been delays here or, you know, divine detours, but your person has made a decision and with the two of swords in reverse, they're seeing you clearly. They want this new beginning with you and it doesn't have to be a reconciliation. I mean, I could be picking up on the energy of, you know, what's been going on with this person, um, but the two of swords, they, they see this new beginning with you. Um, they're a little bit worried, Virgo. Maybe you've turned away from them or you're not giving them as much attention. And I could see that. I could see my Virgos being a little bit in your head about this, maybe starting to feel a little bit uneasy if this is really right for you. All right. And we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. This person's worried. This person's worried that, because yeah, I feel they're going to make a big move or some sort of major investment here, Virgo. And I feel like they're a little bit worried that you're not investing or you're ignoring them. Um, for some of my Virgos, you, you might not see eye to eye about how to handle finances. Okay. Um, and, and we underestimate, underestimate how important that is within a connection. So pay attention to that. Just a little side note there. Um, but yeah, this person's a little bit worried. They're worried that maybe you're, you're not, you're not as into this anymore, or you're not as into them because it looks like you're not giving a whole lot to this connection. They're coming, they're coming with this chariot card. It's like they're booking a flight, you know, they're driving to see you. They're going to show up because this person doesn't want to miss this opportunity with you. Look at that. The five of wands. I think this person, normally we see the five of wands as like bickering, fighting, arguing, some sort of conflict. This person, what I'm seeing with the five of wands is they're, they're coming in to fight for this connection. That's what I'm getting. And I think they're coming up with creative solutions as how to do that with the three of swords, getting to the heart of the matter. For some of you, this person's previous experiences or baggage has been causing some issues within this connection or creating this lack of confidence or this... Um, this sort of back and forth or this hesitation here, Virgo, but I feel like this person is going to open up. I also think they know that they need to release any baggage if they want to keep this connection and if they want to, if they want to move towards, you know, some sort of stability here with you. So we see the Knight of Wands. Um, I feel like they're coming towards you. Things are going to happen fast. I actually think you're going to be really happy about this. Some of you, you know, we are coming up on a weekend as I'm doing this reading, but my readings are timeless um, in nature. But I do feel like you've got like an exciting weekend coming up or just this is going to make you really happy, maybe make you celebrate, make you feel like, you know, make you trust and believe in this person or this connection. The Queen of Wands in reverse, get ready for a very strong physical connection. All right, so I will get ready for, you know, passion and the hanged man. You're going to be seeing this person differently. Um, some of you, you know, this is somebody who's just going to take things to the next level with you. Um, and so you're going to know if you're physically compatible or not pretty soon if you haven't been physical with this person. Seven of Cups tells me there's a lot of, there's, there's, a, there's distorted energy. There's some confusion, a lot of wondering about, you know, each other, how each other feel. Um, you know, I do think that there's going to be forward movement. Some of my Virgos, like I said, if this is a connection that's at a distance, you know, this person, they might be deciding that they're coming to where you are. And some of my Virgos I, that might make you a little uncomfortable. Um, for others of you, this may be somebody who's really, truly confessing their feelings for you. And, you know, I don't know if you're over them or not. Like, are you still into this? Of course, you're going to have to let me know down below in the comment section because now I'm interested. I'm interested to know, like, what is the deal between you and this person? Because there's definitely there's hesitation um, and, and there's some obstacles. And it feels like this person, they they they're going to tell you about the conflicts they've experienced, internal conflict. They might even open up about their past here to you. Um, but they're, they want to get to the heart of the matter. And I feel like they're really, they're coming in with courage and strength. Um, they've made that decision, decision. They have this resolve to either save this connection or move this connection forward with you. But I feel like some of my Virgos, whether it's just their perception or not, some of you, you're going to be a little bit on the fence. And maybe, maybe it's because there is some confrontation here or perceived confrontation. So again, let me know, Virgos, down below. I'd love to see how this resonates and what's going on here. So let's see what else you need to know about this person or this connection. 
All right, so new patterns. Do things differently in order to bring health and vitality into your love life. Some of my Virgos, like you might be thinking about moving in a different direction here. They're, they're feeling it. But for a lot of you, I feel like this person, they know that things need to be done differently, that things need to change. And they're all about it. Like they're all about it, even if it's going to create friction, right? Or be, be uncomfortable for them. We get sacred sexuality. This is what I'm picking up on, Virgo. I actually wasn't reading the Queen of Wands in reverse as I normally read her, which can be like third party or she can be like, um, you know, she can be like being triggered. It can also be like, you know, temperamental. I mean, there might be some conflict, but this is actually the energy I was getting. Like, get ready. This connection has potential for sacred tantric alchemy. Virgos, I feel like you're... you're your sex life is about to, um, about to change. All right. About, about to change. All right. So let's see. And maybe even like, I don't know why I hear the word push limits. I don't feel like it's an uncomfortable thing. I just think that, you know, if you've been at a distance from this person, um, you know, they're coming in, they're coming in physically. All right. And I'm not going to lie. It's going to be hot. All right. So we see parasitic symbiotic. So one party benefits while the other is depleted. Energy, support, and empathy are not equal. Give and take needs to become balanced. I'm getting, I'm, I'm still, I, I'm, I'm still kind of hung up on this message of sacred sexuality. For some of you, um, for some of you, there's going to be there. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to put it. Um, for some of you, there's going to be like, they're going to be showing you, um, or telling you or really showing you or telling you that they're into, um, like BDSM or like bondage or something like that. I know that's not going to be for all of you, but maybe for some of you, and I'm going to move away from that message. Cause I know that's very, very specific, but um, this is what my Virgos, you really need to, you, this is the decision you need to make. Like, is this mutually beneficial for you too? Or is it something that's very draining for you? Because, you know, with the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Wands, some of my Virgos, maybe you're experiencing financial difficulties, or maybe you've been the one that always kind of like buys a ticket to come and see this person or drives to see this person. Or, you know, maybe you've been the one that's been paying, you know, for you know, paying for everything. So again, that's a, that's a really important message there. And we see addictions, physical addictions, emotionally addictive thoughts, or other negative patterns of behavior are affecting this connection. I think that's this person's baggage. I don't necessarily get their physical addictions, although the temperance energy can be, you know, can deal with somebody who's had vices, but it looks like they don't now. Um, but they might have opened up or be opening up to you about that. But I, I feel like this person knows they need to release past baggage, Virgo, point blank. They need to release past baggage. I feel like they're willing to. I really do. I think you're going to be getting a lot of clarity. You're going to be seeing this person differently. All right, let's see. What else do my Virgos need to know? Advice, guidance for my Virgos. Make your dreams real. So we get spider spirit. Okay. Some of you I'm hearing, oh, what a tangled web we weave. If there's too much drama or you feel like you're stuck in some sort of entanglement, you know, pay attention to that. Make the best decision for you and yours or the healthiest choices for you and love and life. But make your dreams real. I, I feel like this is also an, an energy of wish fulfillment for a lot of my Virgos. If, if you're hoping this person is going to you know, switch things up. If you're hoping this person is going to be more open with you, um, they are. And I also feel it's a reminder to just focus on, on what brings you happiness, focus on your passions, on your creativity, know your worth. Yep. And you know, if something stinks, don't, you know, don't, uh, don't ignore that. All right. I can hear some of you laughing. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, the miracles are endless. Yeah. So cow spirit. So for a lot of you, I do feel there's some really, I, I, for the vast majority of you, I do feel that this is a really positive shift or change, you know, spirit saying, see the big picture and slow and steady wins the race. So take things slow. Don't feel pressured. Um, sit with the information that they give you or that you find out. Many of you, it's going to be like this weekend. I kind of keep hearing that. 
Um, but sit with the information that this person gives you about who they are and really listen, Virgo, to what this person is telling you. Um, you know, because sometimes we, sometimes we don't do that. Sometimes we hear what we want to hear and we ignore some of the other stuff. Just don't do that. All right. So let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Virgos regarding their love lives. All right. Trust. So this situation is calling for you to have faith. All right. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Some of you, this person really needs to grow up. Maybe some of you children are an issue, your children, their children, wanting to have children. And spirit saying, yes, this is your soulmate, Virgo. And I, we get this energy of retreat. So they might be saving up for some, you know, to come and see you or for like a weekend away. But at the bottom of the deck here, we get true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow. All right, Virgos, let me know how this resonates. I'm sending you so much love and light. Um, if you're after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using, check out the description box as well as my links to TikTok and Instagram. The short form content, Virgo, that I put out is different than my than my readings here on YouTube. So uh, if, if you're on those platforms, go ahead and uh, check that out. Sending you love and light. Take care.